already just like Good morning guys we are heading to San Diego for Matt's work conference um, you're also getting an award is that correct yes yep really excited for that and <laughs> it's awkward filming in front of like a bunch of people we're going through airport security and it is busy as hell at SeaTac. Uh, took us like 20 minutes to find a parking spot which is very uncommon because usually we can just park and go um, but yeah now everything's picking back up so it's a lot busier so the flight's about, I don't know, two and a half hours down to San Diego. Um, we're, we'll check in at our Hyatt Hotel and then uh, hit up the grocery store because we need some of our meals. And what else do we got planned for today? I think that's it. Okay. Our favorite like city. San Diego's my favorite city. Yeah. Mine too. And we got married there uh, three years ago on June 13th. So and I proposed there. Yes. Sunset Cliffs, San Diego. Guys life tip get your wife get your girlfriend out there yeah sunset cliffs in san diego that set up the camera that was awesome i'll put like a little picture here because we have some good pictures the video on my instagram oh, yeah. has like a ton of views for me like yeah. not, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll link that i'll link yeah. that up in the card yeah. um but yeah so we're gonna go through here probably um get searched like for the meal bag or whatever because we've got ice packs in there and this is clutch. Bring empty bottles of water and then fill it up so you don't spend $6 on a big bottle of water. Um, I'm, I'm fasting today. Matt is also fasting. Um, so the, he the headache is coming for me. Um, but let's get through this and uh, we'll see you guys when we land. guys we are here in San Diego and we're kind of on like a mini vacation well I'm on vacation yeah, I'm working. you're kind essentially of working. yeah yeah um, so it's a uh, it's an event for the top financial advisors at Ameriprise um, how many people would you say is here uh, definitely a couple hundred yeah. I don't know if we've seen everyone uh, just had the first dinner yep uh, like orchestra, a little too fancy for us. Uh, you know, it's out on the marina. So, yeah. But you know, it was chill. Um, the food was too fancy for us. But but, it's okay. Yeah, a little too fancy. Yeah, it's all good. So, uh, yeah, to be here. yeah, really, really nice venue. Um, I I'm excited for tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, there's like a couple guest speakers, and someone who I'm really looking forward to hearing is Muhammad Ali's daughter. Layla Ali. Yeah. So her kind of like speech or presentation is about like championship mindset. Um, so obviously like the financial advisors could really benefit from that and I'm going to benefit from that. I need to chill. I need to read and chill back. <laughs> the CEO of Ameriprise is talking tomorrow and Saturday, so I'm excited for those two days. Yep. And uh, Friday afternoon we'll train. Good yeah. Gyms here. Yeah. The uh, there's like an EOS. It used to be a uh, Gold's Gym. I think it was a World Gym too, but it's got like a sick outdoor like facility. Yeah. And if you've never been to San Diego before, it's like stuff here like if it rains or whatever you can have things outside and it doesn't rust it's pretty cool so like, the outdoor equipment is like pretty awesome so we'll hit up that eos and uh you think we're think we're gonna go to denny's <laughs> i don't know is that like i don't know maybe. i feel we like get like free breakfast every day yeah that's true so. uh, maybe after the gym we'll see I, yeah. it might be a little too fancy for my no. like <laughs> yeah I, I like cheap denny's yeah right <laughs> Yeah. We're at some big, big wig event and we're complaining that it's too nice. Yeah. Give us a uh, pancakes, scrambled eggs. Yeah. 
yeah, it'll be a good week. Yeah. Excited to be here. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to, you know, just hanging out, chilling, getting some vitamin D, you know? Uh, so We're off to a good start there. Yeah, we'll, we'll film the workout at the EOS on Friday and uh, yeah, let's kick some ass with you, babe. Yeah, yeah, happy to Do be it. here. Happy yeah. to be here. Let's roll. Potter book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blooded Prince. So I'm starting this now. You guys know I'm trying to finish the series so that uh, Matt will take me to Universal. He said I have to finish the books before we even discuss. So I'm almost done. And uh, I'm on meal three right now. Cream of rice. This is the what flavor is this? Brown sugar cinnamon with uh, vanilla flavored uh, granite supplements protein powder. Little shout out there, use code Missy10 to save. Oh my god, so good. So tonight Matt and I we're gonna go to Sunset Cliffs. That's where he proposed to me. Um and then yeah, basically we're just uh uh doing like his event stuff and then I'm I'm pretty much on vacation mode. This is awesome. I get to sit around and read and train. But we're going to film our training session tomorrow at that gym. I don't know if we're going to EOS or uh, or the gym, I guess it's called, here in San Diego. So either way, we'll, we'll bring you guys along and uh, get a good workout in. We're going to be training back, so that'll be good. But I might go in the water here. If I do, I'll bring you guys with me. That'll be fun. Eat. Feels. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, San Diego is incredible, and this is the best spot in San Diego. Yeah, it truly is. Um, if you go to Matt's Instagram page, you can see the video where he proposed. I literally had no idea. Like that was probably one of my favorite like moments in life. Yeah, honestly. that was awesome. It worked great. Your reaction was amazing. <laughs> it was so genuine. I literally, I had no idea that you even like had a ring or like we had talked about stuff, but I. Didn't so that was cool. This place is amazing. Yeah, it really is nice. Sunset is coming, that's yeah. why. Sunset Cliffs. Oh, yeah. It's coming. All right, guys, so we made it to the gym here in San Diego. Um, Matt crushed his conference uh, for Ameriprise, and uh, now we're about to crush them back together. It's really cool because, like, we both love working out. And when we're on vacation, it's one of the things that we love to do together. You know, we try out different gyms in like the area, wherever we're at, and then we get a good lift in. So- Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Remind me about this topic when we're back at the hotel. Okay. I have a small mat ramp. It's a small one. Okay. But it's about what you just said. This is totally unplanned. 
Remind me at the hotel. Okay, keep going. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna train some back. Um, I've seen on Instagram that they have some like really cool back machines, stuff that I've never even seen before. So I'm excited to get down there and get a good lift on. And babe, you're going heavy today, right? We're getting after it. We're both getting after Feel it. Feeling good. Yeah, feeling good. The um, you can probably tell I'm a little burnt from yesterday when I was laying out by the pool. Literally, I was out there for like two hours tops, maybe two and a half, right? Yeah. And um, man, I'm feeling it today. Like I am so, like yesterday I was super sun poisoned. Like I was so tired, remember? Yeah. And then now today I'm trying to get into it, but it's, you know. We will. The we weights will. Are, we'll start slinging some weights, you'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get my uh, recovery in. Um, that honestly keeps me really hydrated. Yeah. Um, and I notice the days when I don't drink it. Yeah. So like we're on vacation right now, right? Throw me yours. Matt's got his recovery. I got my recovery. It's just, it's it's essential, right? It's yeah. one of our essentials. Yeah, um, every workout so, for me. Yeah. Cutting, not cutting, two scoops every time. Yeah, I only do one scoop. Yeah, I do um, two. And then- I never take it out though. No, you don't. Yeah. So, it's still weightlifting. It's still bodybuilding. You're still trying to put on muscle for this hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. So I never take it out. Yeah. Of course, I'm not trying to get on stage lean either. Sure. Yeah. So, um, you ready to get down there? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving all my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Tally all the f I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man We don't give a f that's what they don't understand I'm back again like flu season I broke records while loose leaf And I'm coming now on my roof leaving Don't give a f I don't care uh, Did the f for my lonesome, no Cuts on that long run, all I really want is my share. Uh, get on my god, on my totem is nothing. In the discussion, fuck all them feelings, I throw all my pain on percussion. This is disgusting. I hear them bragging about that they did, and it do not move me, not in the least. They ain't been dropping no seeds in the sub, but swear that you all must spot at the feast. I've been on go mode, show mode, showboat, robo, wave ride. Cool shotty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about. Oh, I'm on a now, can't get a pass now, I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now, it's trash now, I'm a spaz out, I've been killing my lows and living on highs, you see in the skies the proof, you can just see in my eyes that there is no lies, I cannot disguise the truth, I've been duck dog getting up in my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chuck song, get the f on with that hate, I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that, got a hot guy on the ball cat, get the f out of my face, uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much Curving all my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Tally all the f I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man We don't give a f that's what they don't understand Talking to my mirror like I love you so much Curving all my critics like I heard you, so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Tally all the f I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man We don't give a f that's what they don't understand Again, like flu season, I broke records while loose leaf, and I'm coming now on my roof, leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh, did the f for my lonesome, no wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run, all I really want is my share. Uh, get on my god, on my totem is nothing. In the discussion, f all them feelings, I throw all my pain on percussion.
that they did and it do not move me, not in the least They ain't been dropping no seeds in the soil, but swear that you all my spot at the feast I been on go mode, show mode, showboat, robo, wave ride Cool shawty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old I'm on they now, can't get a pass now, I'm a cash cow Keeping it brash now, it's trash now, I'm a spaz out I've been killing my lows and living on highs, you see in the skies the proof You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies, I cannot disguise the truth I've been duck dog, getting s*** up in my new merch Color duck sauce on the new couch with my chucks on, get the f*** on with that hate I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that Got a hot guy on the ball cat, get the f*** out of my face, uh Talking to my mirror like I love you so much Curving on my critics like I heard you, so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man Tally all the f*** I ever gave on my head Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man We don't give a f*** that's what they don't understand Yeah, talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a f that's what they don't understand. Again, like flu season, I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now on my roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh did the f my lonesome. No wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. Uh get on my god on my told him it's nothing. In the discussion, f all them feelings I throw all my pain on percussion. The disgusting. I hear I'm bragging about that they did and it do not move me, not in the least. They ain't been dropping no seeds in the soil, but swear that you all my spot at the feast. I've been on go mode, show mode, showboat, robo. Wave ride, cool shawty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old. I'm on they now, can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now. It's trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies. I cannot disguise the truth. I've been duck dog, getting s in my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chucks on. Get the f on with that hate. I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that. Got a hot guy on the ball cat, get the f out of my face. Uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. Seventy-seven felt like one hundred and seven to yeah, us. Yeah, it did. It is not that hot, but it felt hot. Yeah. We're just not used to it. No. And I sound like a pussy right now. <laughs> but we grinded, and yeah. it felt great. Yeah. It's uh, look at this guy. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, big boy. Wow, look how big his feet are. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Teasing the dog. Yeah. Um. So. Wow, I really want to have it. Okay, so, yeah, all in all, it was really awesome back workout. There was this one machine 
that you felt. Great. In her like, in middle, one. right in the inner back. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, you know, we, we had talked about it before in a previous YouTube video where some machines work for Matt. Especially back. Yeah, and yeah. some don't because he's so, like, tall and wide that, like, he either won't get to stretch, but you have to stretch on that one. Bigger is the contraction for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, for instance, that machine, I'll, I'll put a picture right here of it. I tried it. I couldn't, I couldn't feel anything. Um, I felt yep, your boobs get in the way too. Yeah, that's one that's negative thing about uh, implants is that you gotta you gotta finagle with like uh, like chest supported rows, all that kind of stuff. You gotta watch out for the boobs. So a lot of things I have to like really hike my chest up and put the pad like here, like under under my uh, implants, and then really arch back and then put that like It's a lot of it's a lot of finagling, but. Uh, I don't regret the boobs. Um, no. Neither do I. <laughs> Thanks, boobs. I'm very pro implants. <laughs> and that ass. Uh, yeah, and that ass. And that off season ass. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, yeah so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, uh, especially our training video here. Yeah. Um, we're going to head back to the hotel. We got a couple of little events we're going to bring you on tonight. What is the, it's the USS. Midway. Midway. Yeah. So we're going to be on like It's like an big, aircraft carrier. Yeah. Big that's, ship with like planes yeah, on it and everything. Yeah. That's uh, the dinner event for my work tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be pretty casual. Yeah. Uh, like just some, I think it's like dinner dancing on a space, uh, aircraft carrier. So yeah, yeah it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. I'm excited for that. That'll yeah. be good. Uh, and then, uh, Basically, you got another little uh, work event tomorrow work morning. Event tomorrow morning. Yeah, and then we fly out tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, so I'm excited to get home, see the weenies, and then guys, next week, huge announcement here. I'm going to the LA Fit Expo. Woo! Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'll be in LA for three days. Um, not sure what time I'm going to be at the Granite Booth, but I'm going to be there. Um, I'm going to have my hair braided like this. So you guys This guy is living his best life. Yeah. He really is. He was just rolling around. Yeah. So if you guys are going to be at the LA Fit Expo, write in the comments and uh let's try to meet up. Let's try to get a pic, chat a little bit. I'd love to hear from my tubes. You guys are the best. I love all of your support and I cannot wait to see you at the LA Fit Expo. You would never say it, but let me say it. Okay. The best way to support Missy. Is it, well, watching the YouTube, commenting, all that shit. What do people say? Like, subscribe. He loves your YouTube. Um, you know, people say like, like, comment, subscribe. Now, forget all that stuff. That's too cliche. The best thing, either buy Missy t-shirts, which yeah. is down below, yeah. or use your code for your sponsors. Yeah, I love that, guys. Yeah, so Granite, Missy 10, Chicken Pound, Missy yeah. 10, Flavor, Flavor Gangs, Missy. Yeah, because those people support Missy. Yeah. Very important. So, yeah, you would never say it. I'm more salesy, I guess. Uh, that shit's important, people. Come on. Thank uh, you, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go eat and get back to the hotel. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so uh, we were kind of like talking a little bit at the gym. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> and um, I want you to like elaborate oh, on yeah, what yeah. we talked you, about. You mentioned like we like to train on vacation. And because I've always liked to train on vacation, and it reminded me of something um, that I, you know, I just I got not like I don't know if it's like success or you know, obviously a lot of people uh, are into fitness who, and so that I think they can relate with this, and some people might struggle with this, and I just want to share that I don't anymore. Um, that you know, there's the people who are close to you, and they don't have vision, they don't have ill intent, but they try to make you feel bad. For like training on vacation yeah a lot of people who are into fitness don't train on vacation which is fine we love it right i mean it's like one of our favorite things going to gyms training together we kill it we get more calories i mean to me it makes a lot of sense um and i, I just think you got to be careful of you know the, the general society will say like you know they push against you when you're dieting like why don't you just eat you're at a party have one drink why are you so skinny you know what you know why like i'm not i'm not even trying to prep and people are like well why are you dieting yeah right? they just because i freaking want to because i like the challenge so i just think it's important for people to kind of embrace what is good for them there are people who like to go on vacation and 
do a fucking crossword puzzle. Yeah. Okay. I'd rather blow my brains out than do a crossword puzzle. <laughs> but that's what gives them joy. For some reason, our society has to push back on those people <laughs> because people doing a crossword puzzle doesn't make other people feel less about themselves. Mm. Training and eating healthy, unfortunately, inherently makes other people feel bad for not training and eating healthy. Yeah. It's them, not you. You have to embrace it. And the people who are doing it, they have no ill intent. They're your friends, they're your family. They're nice people. It makes them feel bad, subconsciously. Like yeah, me. yeah. And so what they do is they try to like kind of sabotage unwillingly your results. They say, don't train, or why do you train? Or you deserve that. it, you deserve a day no, off. you deserve, or have that freaking dessert. Yeah. No, I don't wanna have a fucking dessert. Yeah. Cause I've been doing an hour of cardio for 12 weeks. Right. I don't wanna ruin it with a piece of cheesecake. So anyway, I just wanted to say, you gotta embrace what's important to you. Yeah. Um, some people want to go on vacation and literally sit at the pool all day, which is awesome for them. Tried that. No, got fucking burnt. No, no, hold on. But no, this is this is exactly <laughs> my point. Um, we like to go hard first. Yeah. It's almost like you earn it, right? So even on our normal day, like Monday through Sunday, right? Every day of the week. Up at, and I'm not bragging. People work harder than me. But I'm just saying, four thirty cardio. So that I can be ready for work before the stock market opens at 6.30. Yeah. Then we train late afternoon. Then I go back to work. You know what my motivation is? And you're similar. Missy's coaching people, training, fitness practice, cardio, doing all your thing. Our motivation is around 7 o'clock, we're both done. Yeah. And we get to sit on the fucking couch and watch Netflix. And right? cuddle. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, we all have that like part where we just want to chill. We just like to go hard and earn it first. Yes. I could never just sit on the couch all day. Mm. I wouldn't even enjoy it. Like if we didn't do anything, yeah. and at eight in the morning we put on Netflix, I feel like a lazy piece of shit. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> but you go hard, you enjoy it. You go to the gym, you kill it. Then lounging at the pool is awesome. Yeah. This is exactly what you did. Yeah. Right? So anyway, I think as fitness people, you gotta just realize you are unique. Mm. Uh, it brings out people's, I don't know if insecurity is too strong a word, but you know what? If you really want to be successful in anything, you got to fuck what people think. Yeah. And you got to just do it. You yeah. Know? Embrace it. So we like to train on vacation. And I don't like people telling me that not to train on vacation because <laughs> uh, it's some of our best times. Uh, yeah. You know? And then we have a great meal together and then we come home and we chill. So anyway, that wasn't even a rant. I'm just doing an observation. Uh, that all, of, uh, all the tubers out there uh, embrace it. Do what you want. You want to train on vacation, go for it. If you don't, that's good too. Yeah. Your body might need a break. That's right. awesome. Right, yeah. But if you don't want to have a drink as you're prepping, then freaking don't. Yeah. Don't let anyone stand between you and your goals. Yeah, don't let people make you feel guilty yeah. for what you want to do, ultimately. Because yeah. society does it. Yeah. It's unrelenting. Mm. You know, have this, have this, have this. Why don't you do this? They, they make you feel... Like you're wrong. Yeah. And you're being healthy doing all these things, frankly, they wish they could be doing. Alright. Doesn't totally. classify as a rant. I just wanted to get that off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, babe. Yeah, yeah. Thank. <laughs> these are things you don't see every day. Feeding a bird <laughs> on the nineteenth floor. He caught it. Yeah. This has obviously happened before. Wow, that is just so cool. Oh, man, yeah, that's like, we are way up there. And this is, okay, this little guy came yesterday. Yeah, and and when, when, I someone, was when someone checks into this room, he's been fed before. I, I, I was sitting here doing my makeup and I noticed the little red on his beak. He comes here, like, he, he must, yeah, like you said, people must feed them. I'm yeah. feeding them right now, but oh. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, guys, as you can tell, we are back from San Diego. It was a really, really awesome time for me. I had a nice little vacation. Matt got his work in, right, babe? Yeah, it was awesome. And this is, uh, it's, it's good to be home. It's good to, like, leave for a bit but it's always nice to come back yeah um and babe i just gotta say i am like super proud of you 
I knew, I, I know that you're a big deal, like, at Ameriprise. <laughs> but, okay, like, no, you. you're welcome. But, like, I don't think people realize, like, how hard it is to become a successful financial advisor. The fact that you made it through the, the, the market crash in, what year was it? 20, Way back, yeah. 2008. Yeah. Um, so being from Canada, I don't really know all of that. And like, honestly, I was kind of like young and immature at the time and didn't broke. care about, yeah, broke, <laughs> didn't care, driving around in my little hoopty. <laughs> um, but yeah, babe, I'm like super proud of you. The fact that you like have so much love for your career and you care so much about your clients, they'll text you at nine o'clock at night or call you at whatever time 10 o'clock at night and boom you like answer the phone for them y you truly have a passion absolutely yeah for for being a financial advisor helping your clients and i just i'm very proud of you babe thank you i'm lucky to do what i do it's a lot of successful people yeah so well, i guess i guess quote unquote downside i have to it's a 24 7 job mm -hmm. in some ways but uh, I love what I do. Yeah. And I do think working with a lot of successful driven people. It's motivating. It's helpful. Yeah. 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 So I learned tricks from them, traits from them. You yeah. Know, it goes both ways. I help them with their money. Yeah. But they're all, they're pretty much fucking awesome people. Yeah. So, but thank you. It was a good weekend. Ameriprise put on a great event. Oh yeah. yeah. It was awesome. It was the, really good. The food honestly though was a little too fancy for my liking. Yes. Like it too was bougie too bougie for us. Too bougie. Like yeah. it's, cause we're so like, I just like plain oats like I like my egg whites I like I like certain things I'm a creature of habit so when I see fancy like uh what are they called like little quiche and like yeah, mix yeah. all this like sausage like a, in it I'm like, like hey. a croissant with Dijon mustard and like yeah we're Drizzled just like of chocolate sauce. yeah can we just can we just have a fucking cheeseburger yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but anyway no yeah. it was beautiful they like honestly every little like event that they did yeah. at night was like a wedding kind of yeah, thing yeah. like very catered people were super friendly the awards ceremonies were really good oh, yeah uh, i feel like yeah it was a well done event yeah funny san diego it's like 80 and sunny and then we come back to seattle you know total stereotypical what everyone thinks of san, san diego it yes. is that yes. perfect sunny yeah now Seattle, we're back in the rain. Whenever yeah. I feel like whenever I vlog in the car, it's always raining. Yeah, like well, so bad. This is Seattle. Yeah. Our summer doesn't start till July, and we have no spring, so yeah, it's all good. No, I can't complain. Honestly, no, I, love, like, I actually love the rain. Yeah, I do except too. when we have to go play softball in it. Yeah, it's not bad though. Like I would like when we were training at the gym. Oh my god, it was hard to get into because it was so fucking hot. Like yeah. I, it was I a personally... humid day. I don't think San Diego is normally that humid. Yeah. For us, I mean, it wasn't like Texas humid, but right. uh, it was uh, it was humid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I was like, oh my god, I was. Struggling. I love the rain, except like I said, but we're about to go play in it. Yeah. If so. you dress for it, it's okay. Uh, I I don't really mind, honestly. All right. Um. Well, you better it, kill it today, then. I know. I'm going to smash it. It actually go. might... I did read on the weather that it might get sunny a little later. So, hopefully, when we're playing, it'll get a little... Yeah. It'll clear up a little bit. Yep. Fingers crossed. But, anyways, guys, we are heading to our softball game. I'm going to try to film a little bit when we get there. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming to San Diego with us. Like next that. video will be LA. Oh, yeah, guys. Next next video, it's just me. Yep. Me and the tubes. You guys are coming over with me to LA. We're doing the LA Fit Expo. Babe, awesome. yep. you're, you're on weenie duty. Weenie duty, and I'm going to fucking diet like a motherfucker. Right, yeah, and then I'm going to... I'm going to do, like... We're going to do a mock, like... Matt's not getting on stage. But we're going to do a mock, like, carb-up depletion kind of couple weeks. And, uh... We'll do some pics, right? Sure. And, uh, yeah, you guys are going to see my uh, techniques on what I do for Matt. Fill you in on those. And uh, that's it. That's it. All right, let's go. Let's go smash it. Let's smash it, guys. Um, Tubes, love you. Thank you for watching this vlog. And uh, we'll catch you in next week's video. Oh, shit. Babe, you got to go on the phone. You do that on purpose.
Like <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. 